Hi, Stephen from Own It Disown. And uh, you may have seen some of my uh, videos where I've been uh, under vaulting uh, the graphics card. And I've also, in many of my reviews, I have uh, under vaulted the, the CPU on pretty much all of my laptop reviews. So I've had quite a few requests just asking, how do I go about uh, doing that? Just go through the steps. Um, there aren't any disadvantages doing it. You've got to play around with it a little bit. You may get a couple of crashes. But uh, at the end of the day, low voltage is good. It lowers temperatures and uh, can increase battery life uh, too. So let's have a look at the steps I take. So I'm using the Lenovo Yoga 720 here. Note that the temperatures I'm recording are slightly higher because I'm using the screen recording software. But without any undervolt, uh, the temperatures reach 99 degrees on the CPU. That's pretty high. So my favorite application to use is Throttle Stop. Download that from Tech Power Up. And once you download it and uh, open up the application um, you uh, stay, click on the fi vr control panel on the cpu core you can uh, you check unlock adjustable voltage and you can move the uh, slide around on the offset voltage um, and also you create a range so to uh, increase your, your range of uh, voltage but you move the slider i usually uh, do it in about uh, 10 millivolt increments and you can do fine adjustments by clicking on uh, these arrows here you click uh, apply and uh, actually make sure you uh, click OK to save voltages immediately. And you repeat it doing the, uh, the CPU cache as well. Now, typically you want about the same value as the CPU core. And I'll uh, show that uh, the reasons why and that shortly. So again, click apply and OK. You then want to do a test. And I always like, like doing a quick test using uh, Cinebench R15 because it's quick and uh, easy. And then after doing uh, this test, I tend to do some uh, gaming tests as well. So let's have a look and see how we get on here on the Cinebench. So with the undervolt of about 144 millivolts, we get a much better score, 680 points. And look at the CPU core, 89 degrees maximum with no uh, thermal throttling. So like I said, it's best to have the CPU core and the CPU cache around about the same uh, millivolt uh, level. Um, so uh, let's just do a test and reduce the uh, CPU cache down to zero and uh, we'll do another run on uh, the Cinebench and uh, see what score we get. So we were at 680, now we get 600 points, a less score, temperature 99 degrees, thermal throttling, so not ideal. So conversely, let's increase the CPU cache offset voltage to 170 millivolts and see what difference it makes. And we'll do another run on uh, Cinebench. So the CPU temperature is 92 degrees, which is higher than it was at the 144 millivolts. Once you have a stable undervolt using the Cinebench test, I like to do some quick tests using, uh, say, Firestrike or uh, the Heaven Benchmark, but choose a game of your choice. Um, you just want to make sure it's nice and stable. So the internal uh, graphics on the CPU itself can also be uh, undervolted. So I like to use uh, the Heaven Benchmark once more for this. Uh, make sure you go into the 3D settings, the NVIDIA 3D settings there, and uh, select that the integrated graphics is the uh, preferred processor for that program click apply, and then we'll run uh, Heaven Benchmark once more. Now the beauty about the Heaven Benchmark, you can run it in the background whilst making changes on the fly. So again, after changing the offset voltage, I can uh, crank it to 183 uh, millivolts, I click apply and make sure it is stable. The benefit of this, it can save some battery life. So unfortunately, throttle stop does not start when you start up the computer. So a big shout out to Carlos Valls who told me how to do this. Click on options, start minimize and minimize on close, click OK. And uh, then you want to create a task. So um, search for task scheduler, click on that. Now you want to create a new uh, task here. So create a task. And then in the under the general tab, give it a name. So I'm calling this uh, throttle stop. And likewise, a description, I just call that throttle stop as well. So check run only when the user is logged on. And uh, most importantly, run with highest privileges and uh, select the, uh, the Windows uh, operating system that you have and then click uh, uh, the triggers. Create a new one. So you begin the task um, at log on. And I have it set for uh, any user. And then click OK. Then you've got to create a action. 
So a new action. So I do this uh, when uh, the program starts. So start a program. Then you browse to the uh, throttle stop executable file. And then uh, click uh, OK again. Then you look at the conditions. Now you want this to start uh, at all the time. So start unchecked, start the task only if the computer is on AC power. So it'll work also on battery. Uh, there's nothing you need to change on the settings, so then uh, just click uh, OK again. Then uh, the top window there, if you scroll down, you can see that there's a new scheduled task called Throttle Stop. So if you open up uh, OCCT, you can uh, see actually there that the IA offset is uh, what I have set it at. Another useful program for uh, undervolting your CPU is actually Intel Extreme Tuning Utility or XTU as it's uh, commonly uh, commonly known. Now I do prefer throttle stop uh, really but uh, you know it's still very good this and once you uh, I've inst once you install it you need to uh, restart your, your system and uh, once inside um, you can change uh, your, your power meters just like you did with uh, throttle stop. Um, so changing the core offset voltage uh, in the same manner, in the same techniques there, doing the find values, clicking those arrow buttons, you click apply. Um, but one thing you'll notice when you uh, go into the cache, it automatically alters the, uh, the cache voltage offset by the same as the core. Now you can also do the internal graphics in uh, much the same way, either by doing the slider or a do find adjustments by clicking the arrows next to the voltage there again click apply now you can uh, save uh, profiles just like you can actually in throttle stop so you click on the uh, profile there and save it and uh, give it a name so if you click on profiles and say select uh, the default one and then click on show values It'll show you the values on the right hand side of what they are. You click apply and those settings will be uh, assigned. You can do the same with the uh, the set uh, the undervolt that you've done. Click the undervolt, show the values and then click apply once more. Now I've had some people say that you cannot undervolt and overclock at the same time. Well that is nonsense. You can do indeed. Granted you can't uh, undervolt the same level but as you can see here, I've got 4.1 gigahertz and the uh, uh, the offset is uh, minus uh, 090 uh, volts, uh, so uh, minus 90 millivolts. So um, let's click apply and see uh, what we get doing uh, a Cinebench run. So as you can see, the clock rate uh, there is, is about 4.1 uh, gigahertz and uh, the temperatures uh, is running quite nicely there at about, uh, about 70 degrees Celsius. There does seem to be uh, excess uh, CPU voltage there on these uh, Intel CPUs, which is great. It does allow me to undervolt this uh, overclocked uh, CPU on this very small 14-inch uh, AOS laptop. Uh, all four cores at 4.1 gigahertz at cool temperatures. I like it. Well, I hope you found that useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you uh, feel so inclined, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.